Yo, hey, yo, you guys, what is good? What is good? Click, click, cowboy, Grinchy's in the room, you feel me? You dig it? Today, we got a new video, we got a tutorial, actually. So, an asterisk. We're making some white to k logos so if you guys want to see more leave a like comment subscribe i did roll that intro all right you guys saying many I'm gonna need to open up a new image. I'm doing this on GIMP because uh, Photoshop, I don't know how to use it too well. So, that's one. So, what you want to have, you can even have a square thingy like this or whatever size you want. But, like, think about what you want to do first. I'm just gonna make a random thingy because uh, I don't really have anything on mind right now. But if you have like an image of what you actually want in your head, it'll be 10 times easier. Today we're going to be using Planet Cosmos because that's just the most identifiable with Y2K logos. So let's just do a Grinchy, Grinchy Zero. A Grinchy Zero logo. So everyone likes Grinchy Zero. I'm gonna change the font of the zero. Um, because I can't just have it all flat. Yeah, I like that. Pinch zero. Let's just put that in. I'm gonna have it cut into some sections there. It'll look kinda cool. Alright. So, it's in the corner. Come in. Alpha to selection. And just grow the size by a few. Just go like five, maybe seven actually. Boom. Um, yeah, go into Grinchy. Press Control X, so you can come up here. To press cut, but you know you need to know your shortcuts first. Grinchy zero, All right? Zero's protruding in. I like that. Um, so to make different shapes, um, you can come at these, this is going to be like your favorite tool, but you need to create a new layer, but you're not doing it on the background. Uh, you do this, boom, fill it in, that's fine for now. Um, then you just take that, duplicate it, and like move it slightly, change it to white. Then you get this arc. It's kind of cool. Um, yeah, and then you you just highlight the white circle, and you take it up. Then you just left with that part. But if you do that, then you're cool, isn't it? No. Um, then to get the bottom half, it's just duplicating it again. And then just flip again, flipping it horizontally and vertically at the same time. Put it in like that. It's pretty sick, don't we? Um, so yeah, you just put it wherever you want on your logo. Obviously you can make the circles for the shit. It's pretty simple. You just need the circle like closer to the edges, some shit. Um, like, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna grow this by like two, so it's not too much. And I make space between the letters. You can always like erase stuff, but you really want like rounded edges, really. So, like, even here, do that so it's like rounded. This could stay sharp though, I like that. Uh, that top bit's a little bit out of line. Let's 
it's a lot better. Uh, I think I'll leave it like that. A test. Ah, no, no, no. I gotta take it out. Jeez. That's the tutorials in it. Sheesh. So once you have that, that's fine. You know, obviously, you can add stars, but I can't really draw stars that good, so I just get them from the internet, get a black and white one, just paste it in. Even with like the the italic circles, you just just put one in. Just like that. Um, you use a shade tool. You just push it forward slightly or how, how much you want it to be because i don't own it now but you guys want but the more you do it the more pronounced it would be anyway so i suggest just go but like a good amount no just move it i've been pasted um, I suggest cropping it to, to the actual circle actually. So you can move it around a little more. And then when you paste it, you can move it precise. So one, two, three, four. Then you do one, two, three, four. So it's like equally spaced out and then seal it. It just looks perfect. Yeah. Um there's also that space out thing that I did. But you just copy and you just duplicate the layer, move it up slightly. Then alpha select the original layer, like increase it by one. Then you just take that out, boom. Wow. Well, obviously you're gonna have to move it more or else it's not gonna be as effective. I'm gonna move it slightly. Yep. There we go. Let's move it more to the left, actually. Well, to the right, what am I talking about? Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, move it up. I'm taking it out. So you can see it has like that staggered effect. You can do it as much times as you want. I feel like just once does the trick. Because on the Big Bad Wolf video, I did it about three or four times and it looked so good. But yeah. Obviously you can get in vectors from other creators. I sell the stuff. Some people even give them out for free. Like Cody Vondel. And then his server, he gives out um, some free stuff sometimes. So, yeah. Let's chill. This is Grinchy Zero. I might actually use this for my 2K character. Because it looks kind of dope. Um, and yeah. That's a tutorial. If you want to see more in-depth tutorials, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If we hit like, well, like 10 likes, I'll probably do a more complex um, tutorial. But this is the basics of it. Um, I'm just gonna make it more simple. Um, so yeah. yeah. If you guys want to see more, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and yeah. See you guys in a bit. Peace.